Insight Product Planner, and I'm gonna walk us through more of the technical details. So let's start with the body and chassis for this vehicle. We started with the 10th generation Civic as our foundation for our platform. Uh, but we had to make a lot of changes for Insight to create this unique vehicle, as well as to account for the hybrid battery. So the, under, the rear of the underfloor has been reworked to account for that battery that has been moved underneath the rear seat, as well as all of the unique exterior sheet metal, except for the roof and rear quarter panel, are unique to Insight. Additionally, in order to create this premium refined drive that you'll have today, uh, we in in improved and increased our sound absorption and sound deadening materials, as well as utilizing active noise control to de develop a much better quietness within the cabin. We also started with a suspension system that was very similar to Civic, but is tuned for a more comfortable drive. Uh, we also had to add the electric servo brake system up front for the regenerative braking, as well as adding fluid-filled compliance bushings on the touring trim on the rear, um, and that's the trim that you will be driving today, to create a much more premium and refined drive. Insight features aluminum alloy wheels, and 16-inch wheels on the LX and EX trims, and 17-inch wheels on the Touring trim. Now let's talk about the hybrid power unit. Insight is utilizing the third generation of our two-motor hybrid system. This system debuted, and for the first generation, on the 2014 Accord Hybrid. On the 2017 Accord Hybrid, we featured the second generation. In that evolution of the system, we made the, everything smaller and lighter. And then working with the third generation that debuted on Accord Hybrid just a few months ago, on the 2018 Accord Hybrid, we made it even smaller and lighter, and that allowed for us, from a packaging standpoint, to move that battery underneath the rear seat so that there are no compromises to your passenger space or your cargo space. The key difference between the Accord Hybrid and the Insight is that Accord Hybrid utilizes the 2-liter Atkinson engine. The Insight features the 1.5. The 1.5-liter Atkinson engine delivers 40.5% thermal efficiency, which is among the world's best. And when combined with the 2-motor drive unit, delivers 151 combined system horsepower, as well as 197 pound-feet of torque. This combines to create the best-in-class horsepower and torque, as well as best-in-class power weight ratio. Additionally, Insight features three driving modes. Normal, which is the default setting, Econ for a more balanced fuel efficiency, and Sport mode as well. Utilizing our, glass pe our gas pedal click, about 75% down on the throttle, you will feel a difference in the system is basically coaching you that you are switching from a more fuel efficient drive to a more full throttle acceleration and higher performance. Insight also features our deceleration selectors that you may have utilized on a Cord Hybrid or on Clarity p -head. Insight features three levels of this regenerative braking. By pulling on the left selector <coughs> on the basically like paddle shifters, you would increase your regenerative braking like engine braking. And you can set that to a level until you get back on the throttle. So as you click on that, it'll go through the steps and then it'll stay there until you decide to get back on the throttle if need be. Now when we look at the market as we go to market with Insight, you can see that on the top left is our compact hybrid competitors who have really solid efficiency numbers but are sacrificing their performance. On the right side, you can see the mid-size hybrid competitors who are sacrificing a little bit of their efficiency to increase performance. We believe with Insight, we've achieved a great number of both, the right sweet spot between there. Similar fuel economy numbers to our compact hybrid competitors, but much better performance. And in our internal testing, it's about one and a half seconds faster than our compact hybrid competitors. Obviously all tests are different and conditions are different, but we encourage you when you get an opportunity to um, experience that. Now let's talk about connectivity. 
Insight features the latest in our display audio software in an 8-inch touchscreen on the EX and Turin trims, with hard physical buttons on the left side, along with a physical volume knob. And all of your climate control buttons are physical and right below the system as well. Insight also has a storage tray right next to the electronic gear selector that stores phones up to an iPhone 8 Plus size, so virtually all phones on the market today. Insight also features Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on the EX and Turing trims. Additionally, Insight has the 7-inch digital TFT display meter within the IP on the left side. This is standard on all Insight trims and allows you to customize what you have in there. You can utilize energy management, fuel economy and range, eco score, navigation, and a whole host of other things. And you can control what's in there directly from the left side of your steering wheel. Also within the display audio system, you can put on the screen the power meter as well, which can show your range and MPG on that screen if you want to do something different within your IP. <coughs> On the Insight Touring Trim, we feature the latest in our Honda Link cloud-based subscription services. That includes safety, security, and convenience features, as well as 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot within the vehicle. Now let's talk about safety and driver-assisted features. Honda Link or Insight comes standard with all Honda Sensing and our advanced safety and driver-assisted features, which includes collision mitigation braking adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keep assist, and road departure mitigation with lane departure warning. Insight also has traffic sign recognition, which utilizes the camera to read the speed limits as you're going down the road and displays them directly within the IP. You can also control and adjust all of the Honda sensing features between collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, um, to turn on or off within that digital meter, utilizing the controls on the steering wheel, as well as adjusting your following speed utilizing adaptive cruise control or adjusting lane keep assist. Now safety is very important to us at Honda. We have over 1 million vehicles on the road today that are equipped with Honda sensing technology. That is industry leading. 62% of all of our 2018 model year vehicles are Honda Sensing equipped. So you can see at the bottom we have rapid growth and we are continuing a steady year over year growth in the vehicles that are equipped with Honda Sensing safety technology. And that is well on our way to our goal and our target of 100% application by the 2022. And we believe we will be at 95% in the very near future. Additionally, Insight features standard auto high beams, standard driver awareness monitor, standard multi-angle rear view camera, and also features Honda Lane Watch on the EX and Touring trims. Now we're targeting a five-star overall vehicle score in NHTSA's NCAP test, as well as a 2018 top safety pick from IIHS. And that includes the latest small overlap test on the passenger side. A good rating there as well.